Vader is tough on the outside, but tender on the inside. Much like how I imagine actor Jude Law is in real life. special overlooking breathtaking panoramic lake views open living with vintage appeal call Deborah.
shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta. A bounty has been put out, and now a dangerous army of lawless, trigger-happy sadists begin shooting anything that moves. Good workers, unlike my so called son, Kyle. That's why I pay him to stay on the lookout for that shark. Obstinately digs in as the conflict escalates. Port Clovis's most disreputable citizens have converged on the area. the instinctual hunger response to the sudden presence of an available meal. by sending some of its most disreputable citizens. The bartender life in Bobby Boja. Caution to the wind, the big fish escalates its battle against Port Clovis. Here, I guess. 
The battle is over, but the war goes on. Back on board the Cajun Queen. That's Kyle, my son. He's just here for the summer. Studies marine biology. <laughs> Look at that. I got one hand can still tie a hook. You got two can barely tie shoes. <laughs> Must get that from his mama. Yeah. He used to help my daddy around. Spent a lot of time together. But we wasn't close. He was a shark on him. That's all he was. If anybody were gonna catch the mega, it'd be him. <laughs> Thought it was a government experiment, got himself loose. Boy, he wanted that shark. Wanted it bad. Found it once. Didn't catch it, no. What... what happened to your father? Huh? What happened? Look, uh... I ain't got time to answer questions all day. Got work to do. Just like Kyle LeBlanc, our young bull is the inheritor of a long family tradition, struggling to find her place in the world. Golden Shores was built as vacation residences for wealthy out-of-towners, with spectacular ocean views, private beach access, and a gate to keep out the locals. The gluttonous grouper eats fish, octopi, and crustaceans. The hungry predator hones in on her pork.
this shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. The shark returns to the grotto to focus on personal transformation. become a licensed shark hunter. No very bother with this formality. Caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake. Anybody got a good set of those pliers? Just this the powers of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. Do. Because what other way is there to celebrate killing beautiful animals for tasteless nutritionless body parts than a $450 round of golf?
Shores import this mako from Sri Lanka and train it to guard their community? Not likely, but let's pretend they did, as it makes for a more interesting storyline. consider returning to the water. Hunters waste little time hitting the water when a shark becomes a threat to human life. It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. Sinking sharks a lot more better than sinking butts. Lusty appetites, the shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve. 
Bull sharks can locate prey from great distances using both smell and sound. Nothing gets a kingfish in the mood quite like watching a 73-year-old hit a double boat. The fact that they've turned the waters off Baton Tordu into a spawning ground attests to their love of seniors' golf. This mineral supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet. The pelagic beast surveys the sea with cold, unfeeling eyes.
Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. Somebody's drinking team has a drowning problem. Bull shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. Upon using this medication, if you experience priapism, do not attempt to improvise your own surgical shunt. Quite a strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks. The Sultan of Speed, the Maker.
often feed on juveniles, primarily due to a deadly combination of wage stagnation and rising child care costs. and aggressive, the Mako is known as the Peregrine Falcon of Sharks. But as the Peregrine is a land-based bird, this designation means nothing to the Mako. She should probably spend less, save more, and start researching indexed mutual funds. Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered calm.
Water churns into a frenzy of feet. American alligator.
This fall exhibits behavior similar to her West Coast cousin, the Thresh. For decades, Rosie has been a star in Big B's Bayou Buddy stunt show. But our shark is far too young to appreciate Rosie's classic brand of celebrity. Golden Shore's development was originally met with local protest, but those objections were easily circumvented with campaign donations to Planning Commission Director Steve Traeger. Back aboard the Cajun Queen, family tensions are at an all-time high. Kyle, what's wrong? Can you catch no reef? I can't, but this one's like 20 feet. 15. Whatever. Can't do it. I'll come out there, I'll do it. The old man with one hand. Yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't be mutilating baby sharks. What you say? Nothing. Boy couldn't catch in a diaper. He telling me how to hunt a shark. Believe that? I mean, I came down here thinking it'd be a good opportunity for some father-son bonding. But now, I don't know. I might start looking for another summer job. Hey, not everybody made to be a fisherman. I just hope this whole university thing works out for him, yeah? Sapphire Bay's famous Pier 1 provides visitors with plenty of skee-ball, popcorn shrimp, and elegantly airbrushed t-shirts.
grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang of the Gulf.